Now, uh, I'm trying to heal you with the words of God, the scripture, truth. And unfortunately, I know a lot of people may be losing their patience, but I have a lot of patience. I, although the world we live in, patience is really a virgin and not a virtue. Um, so uh, I will have as much patience as I can to try to help you along this. Uh, because the truth has healed me, then I know it can heal you. So when um, you you look at the uh, you look at the, the the birth certificate that we've been talking about, which is really a fiction of law that you're a citizen, um, there is a legal maxim that says where truth is, fiction of law does not exist. Now, when we take that to the extreme, where we take the document the parents filled out, which seems to begin the supposition that you could be a citizen by a statement. We look at that, bring something that would bring you out of the covenant of God into a foreign covenant with the state in the legal. Uh, we have to look at what's there. So if the parents had put even the given name on it, the given name is a given, that's a fact, that's truth. Which therefore fiction of law, which would be anything to do with the state, anything to do with anything dealing with legalities would be gone. There'd be no fiction of law there. In the same breath, if the parents had not violated the child's privacy and just put not applicable, which still would have been truth in the given name box, because that doesn't belong to the state or Caesar, and it only placed in the surname that they were using to operate in the legal, well, again, truth would negate the fiction. So why is it that when you go to these government offices that authenticate these documents, they're not authenticating the contents they tell you at these offices. They only authenticate the signature and seal of the government power that has basically signed and sealed the document outside the frame. So they'll tell you they do not guarantee the contents of any of these documents. So why would they do that? Well, because we just told you there's really nothing on the document at that point because there'd be nothing there. The given name would negate the surname. The not applicable if the parents had followed that direction, which still would have been truth because the child was really not born into that legal contract or nor could he contract or nor could he have been born a citizen to basically put his fidelity towards any legal state or nation. So therefore, the whole document would really be empty with contents regarding a name. And that's why the government issues an ambiguous birth certificate that just says name. That's why the court docket just says name. There is no possibility the state could have came up with such a scheme if it hadn't have been from people that are involved in scheming and devices of evil. So they made sure they didn't cross the line. They didn't run out of ink to put in given name and surname on these birth certificates. So when you read the scripture, which we're going to do in the next brief video, it will clarify why God is basically going to come to your aid when you call upon him when you've made the right decision.